All oh, right, we have a Deli Turds game. This is for GB, but it's open, so we'll take a peek. Uh, Turds has started with 8672. Notably, Deli has no captures of this from 4, and his two captures from 8 have an 8 and a 5 sticking out. The 8 can be comboed, and the 5 can be comboed. So Turds is saying, I can recapture a 4 from needed, from 4 if needed, with Shiva, but also you have no pressure from eight, or at least all your pressure from eight, I have significantly more pressure against. So I'm threatening to block in from eight, maybe, but more importantly, I am, uh, I have a lot of play if you go eight. Now, if Turds does block eight, Delhi might have safety in nine. 8825 captures any card but 4875 and 4875, can be a clunky card to put there. Um, not necessarily, but could be. So Delhi might not mind seeing Turds play 8, but we do need to find a plan for Delhi. One thing to note is any kind of setup, like 7, 7, 8, 1, and 5, setting up 4, you still have the problem in 8. So if you play something like 7, 7, 8, 1, and 5, and Turds goes, say, 8, 4, 5, five, seven, no, maybe, yeah, eight, four, five, seven, in four, you still can't really go in eight. Uh, your eight is still comboed. Turds had two ways to combo that. Seven, four, seven, six will do it, and your six, five, seven, seven is still comboed, unless you've been super deep and your card in five set up a counter combo in six, which I don't believe it did. But actually, that's a fun idea. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna come up with a move before Delhi ran out, but sort of the Akiyama five move, if I go five, it incentivizes them to go four. How could I then set it up so I could play six, five, seven, seven, and eight, where if they combo with five, three, eight, eight, and nine, we can combo back in six. And there is a way to potentially do this. If we played eight, eight, two, five, and five, and they go four, and we go eight, and they combo in nine, we can combo back in seven with eight, seven, five, four, 8574, and I don't think we're susceptible to combos. Of course, you may have noticed this doesn't work at all because 8825 sets up no threat in 4, so they have no incentive to block it. But ignoring that slight, slight feature, uh, it's an idea. I'm curious to see what Delhi did. Obviously, we distracted ourselves with other things. Delhi did an opposite corner, and I think this is a good instinct against something like this. However, you really want your opposite corner to create some kind of problem for your opponent. Turds has such a smooth recapture in 8. Ooh, something really important this did. It doesn't stop 8825 from being safe in 9. Really important factor. So, like, I know you couldn't take it back, so you wouldn't do this for other reasons, but 7, 7, 8, 1, and 3 would give up the key square of 9, which is kind of your compensation against 8. Um... I guess, and 8825 would give up the card you're probably going to try to stick in 9. That 5 to the left is really useful. Your 8574 can't quite fulfill the same role. The 5 can take two 4s in the opponent's hand. The 4 can't take. And you didn't have recaptures on 5818. So I guess there's a lot of ways to get to this specific move in 9. It's not very comfortable because 7476 has such good coverage, and 4875 has decent coverage the other way. But it's a move that continues the game. And if we look at Turds' hand, it makes a lot of sense for Delhi to try to move the game rightwards. Because, yeah, that was a tricky thing for Delhi. Because my initial instinct would be something like, okay, I have play against 8, but no play against 4. Let's go 1. Now, you might argue I don't have play against 8. But part of the reason I don't have play against 8 is because Turds' hand just wants to go left. And Turds' hand going left can punish everything I have facing out to the right. So I do not want the game going left because my outfacing stuff is super punished. And so I, I can't kind of, I think, go one in a comfortable way. Uh, and the reason I don't want to go one is part and parcel of the same reason I have trouble in eight. It's that if the game is going left, Turds' cards are happy and they can play against the stuff I will have sticking out to the right. And so going in 8 has the immediate problem, but going in 1 is likely to create that problem moving forward in more squares as we move on. 
So I like Delhi's playing on the right. And I think it was hard for Delhi to play six because with eight five seven four and seven seven eight one in his hand, it's not like he's trying to make a side to side game. Now maybe there's a case that because Turds' hand is relatively clumsy side to side, sort of, not really. I could see a case for going in six with but you don't want to use five eight one eight, you need that. And you don't want to use six five seven seven, you need that to cover stuff facing out to the right. Um, and seven seven eight one, you don't have recaptures. Yeah, six looks really clumsy. So if you want to make the game right, you're stuck between three and nine. Maybe you can make something work in nine. I guess one thing going in your favor is if you stick something in nine with an eight facing out, you now have a threat in eight. Turds probably has to block eight. Uh, even if you play something relatively low, like 8574, um, the only thing that captures that is Shiva. So you'll have potential to go in five after. And you might have some, you might have a little sting there. Um, and you also have potential L's in six after eight comes. Uh, and for instance, if Turds plays with an eight up and eight with 8457, and you go 6577 seven, and six, that sets up a same in five. Maybe you're making something happen, but I think your remaining cards are real clumsy for that endgame. So I'm not at all confident of those plans. Okay, Turds goes six. He just takes safety. Hmm. Instinctively, I think Delhi should be surviving. I think Delhi should be surviving. I want to go seven, seven, eight, one, and two. Just setting up the uh, the same in five. And because Turds doesn't have a recapture in nine, it's kind of scary for him to allow that. And five doesn't really set Turds up to do anything in four or eight. It's all sames anyway, and weak numbers facing out. You don't have combo potential. Um, and it also actually sets up a uh, a, a plus if um. If 8825 lands in 5, it sets up a bus for Delhi in 8 with 8574. I'm not saying Turds made a wrong move here. He might have had no clear plan. We didn't really think from his perspective this game. Uh, because his starter had already been played, I've sort of only been thinking, how should Delhi react? But this suggests, I think, that Delhi reacted really well. Because 7, 7, 8, 1, and 2, that threat in 5 is serious. So Turds likely has to block 5. And now it's still 5-5. Five, five. And maybe Turds has really good sweepers. Maybe Turds has really good sweepers. For instance, if he blocks 5 with 7-4-7-6, seven, seven, then anything Delhi puts... <clears throat> mm, yeah, that might be winning. <clears throat> Let's say Delhi played 8-5-7-4-1. and one. Then if Turds goes Shiva in four, Delhi can block seven, uh, nine and he holds. He can't go eight, but he can go nine. And if the Turds takes with eight, four, five, seven, Delhi can play five, eight, one, eight, and eight. And can Turds go anywhere other than four after that? If Turds goes eight, he never sets anything up. You can go four, you're fine. And if Turds goes nine, he keeps eight, four, five, seven. That's only single flipping from four, so you go eight. Okay, so I think this should tie. I think seven, seven, eight, one, and two should tie. I haven't checked anywhere near everything, but it has a serious threat to go in five. And if Turds blocks five, I think you can always go eight, five, seven, four. I think against any configuration left in Turds' hand. 8574 is probably tying. At least tying. Uh, probably tying. And you might have other tools as well, but that seems sufficient to me to play 7781 and 2 and think you're holding the tie. Do you need to do this though? Am I just like too desperate to jump on a potential tying path? Do you have safety in 9? No. But you could still think about 9 because the only captures against 3 and 9 are going to be uh, Shiva. And if you have play against Shiva, or just good play once Shiva's out of Turds' hand, that might be okay. 
I would not be surprised if one of those moves tie, but it seems like a lot of calculation to get to the tie. Like if if eight eight two five and nine ties, sure it might do, but you have no obvious punish to Shiva, and so it's going to take some careful calculation. That I just think seven seven eight one and two is a more efficient uh, tie. Uh, I don't see anything obvious in eight. I hate going in four. Um, I find it very difficult to find moves in one. Some players are much better at that than I am. And I guess you could switch to, I want to set up in five now, but I still don't think you have good fits for that square. So I'm, well, I was going to say, I'm expecting two, and we got two, but we did not get the card I expected it to. Huh, I wonder what Delhi saw that I did. Some chance he saw that if 7476 goes in 5, this is outright safe in 1. But if 7476 is still in Turds' hand, it actually sweeps 7781 on the left side. Um, uh, it also can punish 8457 landing in 5. But now Turds doesn't have to play 5. Does he have anything better? I don't know. But he doesn't have to go there. But it's hard to go 9, because 8825 controls that and is safe. 8 is interesting. But you might not have the right sequence of cards left. For instance, if you play 7, 4, 7, 6, and 8, yeah, 4, 8, 7, 5 has a same in 5, but it's only recapturing your own cards, and 8, 4, 5, 7 is horrible in that endgame. So... My instinct is this is a much less clean move, but looking at it more, we notice there's lots of problems against it, where I think it's a much easier for turds to go wrong against this move, while my move was the more comfortable, how can I make sure I tie? Okay, um... One interesting option now because 8457 sweeps the bottom. Anything in 8 is covered with 8574 out of Delhi's hand. So what if Turds goes 4? Say with Shiva. If Delhi goes 1, Turds wins in 5 with 7476. Just immediately wins the game. 8457 sweeps, you're up 6 4. If Delhi goes in. Two, I admit you can't actually take the card. Uh, sorry, in five, you can't actually take the card in two. Um, it's possible that ties. Five might tie. Oh, that's goofy. Yeah, and eight and nine have to be checked as well, and those are complicated. All right, not a very good idea. Hmm. Anything in one is well met by seven, seven, eight, one, and four. Delhi, interesting instinct to hold on to that card. Hmm. Now, this is interesting. It just feels like, I mean, it feels like Shiva in five, I think, is, I guess, where I'm headed. It feels like 7476 should sweep the left and 8457 should sweep the bottom, but it's not quite so clean because once you play Shiva in 5, you have no threat in 1, and so 8825 and 4, and just both 2 and 4 are safe to you. So then it feels like, okay, I have to use 7476 and 5, and this is probably what's going to happen. But that does concede safety to 7781 and 1. And then you play 4, 8, 7, 5, and 4, and they block 9, and you have a tie. So I think my move was more forcing, 7, 7, 8, 1, and 2. But that doesn't make it, like, it forced a way to the tie. But I think Delhi's move is better in practical terms, because I think it is also tying. But where my move forces the opponent into a clear path, this, there are lots of appealing options for turds, and at least I haven't seen one that I'm like, yes, that that is the way. This this looks really strong. So I'm excited to see what he does. He does go in five.
giving Delhi four, I sort of briefly considered this at the end, um, because you do keep quite good sweepers here. But I thought eight eight two five and eight was probably simple. Just sliding an eight, it makes it five five. If they go nine with seven four seven six, you win with seven seven eight one and four, because the combo chain is pretty far. Um, if they go four eight seven five in uh, whatever that square is, then you're you know you're flipping one card. You're up six four. You can't lose. If they go Shiva in one, you can just play nine. They have no capture. If they go seven four seven six in one, you go four because Shiva's dead in nine. Uh, there might be other ways to play it. That was the one that was like jumping out to me was I liked the look of eight eight two five and eight setting up seven seven eight one. Um, you could also probably start. No, that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you could probably also play eight eight two five and nine, probably. Haven't calculated everything, because either card in eight is well met by seven seven eight one and four. If they didn't flip, then you go up six four, and they can only capture one back. If they did flip, uh, they were up uh, seven three, but your combo chain flips the card back, and you know that's good for you. Um, and if they go four, you can go eight, and you're fine. And if they go one, I guess depends what they go with. But seven four seven six is dead in four, and four eight seven five is semi dead in eight. So you just play to force them into the dead square at the end, and you're fine. So eight eight two five and either eight or nine looks good to me. There might be other ways to play this though. I'm never too invested, but in general, like surely. Your, your kill square is four. Like, your square that's really good is four, and you want that to land as late as possible. So, and you don't have particularly good plays in eight or nine. You're kind of swept down there. So you usually want to play the part of the board that's worse for you and then the part of the board that's better. Um, so eight and nine seem standard to me, and I expect that's what we will see. Interesting game. Uh, yeah. Creative move in six from Turs. We very much went from Delhi's perspective. I like Delhi's move in two a lot. I think in practical terms, it. I suspect the solver will say, and I could be wrong here, but I suspect the solver will say my move is better. Like that it gives fewer ties. But I think in practice, Delhi's move does because my move makes it very clear what the opponent needs to play, and Delhi's move does not. And I think that's one of those things where. Uh, humans can find really nice ideas that even using the solver don't immediately pop out at you. Where there was just really nice feel for the coverage the remaining cards would have of key squares. While giving up what looked to me like really nice sweepers for turds, like it made sense to me for turds to go in five and keep these sweepers. Yeah, Delhi chooses nine. Um, possible I was wrong about the calculation of eight. Off and in. I'm gonna pop open the solver on the side. Do desktop solver, blue hand, red hand, rules. I have to pop open all three to do anything. All right, all rules are in effect. I believe. Let's check. Yep. Uh, red hand. This is the first turn player's hand, whether or not it's red in this game. Eight six seven two. Five three eight eight. Eight four five seven. Nope. Spelled that wrong. Seven four seven six. Spelled it wrong. Putting the numbers wrong. That's not spelling. Uh, four eight seven five. Okay. And our blue hand, which does in this case happen to be blue, is six five seven seven, eight five seven four, eight eight two five, seven seven eight one, five eight one eight. Okay. Finish playing this out. Turds takes eight. Delhi will take the same, turds will capture back, and we will have a nicely played tie. Uh, do you really feel, do you desperately need to see the final board of this game? Alright, we'll, we'll give it to you. So I click around. 
yeah, nice game. Um, we'll flip over to the solver in a moment. Slowly. So after Turds is moving six, Deli had five ties. Um, I wanted seven, seven, eight, one, and two, which is a tie. And Deli played eight, five, seven, four, and two, which is a tie. And as I predicted, my move had more losses in response, but only barely. And I think his move gave much more kind of paths for something that looked plausible that could be wrong. Um, so I really like Deli's move there. Just want to check my analysis. I thought 7781, 7476, seven, and 5 was a tie. It is. And on Delhi's 8574, I thought 8825 and either 8 or 9 were the ties. They were. There were also two ties in one. Uh, 8825 or 5818 in one. Apparently both tie. I guess because the... Uh, That doesn't make sense to me. Really? 5818, what if I take with, um, I guess I can only cover one of eights or sevens facing out. Yeah, okay, I guess that works. Um, all right. And is there anything else to check here? I like Deli's move in two. Turds is move in six. Very curious to me. Gave five ties. Um, Can I quickly chuck in a move without thinking that happens to give fewer ties? Rather than actually think about this position. So 8, 4, 5, 7, and 8 only gave three ties. But one of them is 8, 8, 2, 5, and 9, which is very standard. So I do not think that is a better move. Uh, 5, 3, 8, 8, and 8 also only gave three ties. But it's just any card in 9, basically. So that's fine. OK, um, can you do something fun in 4? Four dangerous. Ooh, only three ties after four, and I don't think they're as easy. Eight, four, five, seven, and four is currently my favorite for best move. Just checking some other things. Uh, four, eight, seven, five, and four only gives two ties, and they are not easy moves. Okay, I think four, eight, seven, five, and four might have been the best move. Um, I should flip you over now that the game is done. One sec. Um, yeah, so 4875 and 4 is my current pick for best move, followed by I think 8457 and 4. Um, and Turds' move for reference was this. I'm just clicking around, my brain's off. Um, I also wonder just if this forced the action any better. Like probably did because you just recapture it too. Um, is there anything interesting if captures here? I don't think there should be. I don't see why there would be any fun in one or nine. Yeah, I like going in a four, six, or eight here. We're just messing around. This is not real criticism. This move was very strong. Deli's response is good. I guess the last question is, was there a cleaner way to react to this starter? This will take forever to run. I think I clicked it to already run, but it's results. We're looking for totals of 24 are the situations with six moves left. Um, I'm looking for if there's a bigger number that pops up. Ah, 40. So this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be here. 29 moves tie, 11 moves lose. Uh, it's going to take a while to run if I try to find the cleanest response here. Yeah, I think Deli played this well. I think he held a, a difficult position after the starter pretty cleanly. All right, we'll call it there.